So this is a light meter. It measures light. Um, whether it's outdoor light, continuous light, strobe light, it measures light and it will give you base, base, basically the setting you need to set your camera at to gain that correct exposure. How it works, um, you can't really see it because it's all blurred. Like that's the ISO and then you've got the multi setting there. I don't really use that, I don't know what it does. I just use the ISO and then you adjust the shutter speed with these buttons here. And when you're ready to test the light, you basically press this button here. This diffuser is over the actual sensor. This is where you basically put it near your face and then you test the light and then it will tell you what f-stop it should be. Um, I normally shoot in f11, so I gotta make sure it's like f11. So that means adjusting the light, whether I'm turning up the brightness or I'm moving it closer or further away. You use this to measure the setting that you need. A lot of professionals use it, especially if you're in the studio as well. If you're in the studio and you don't have one of these, you might be missing out on great exposure. Don't get me wrong, you can wing it. You can, yeah, you can just test and test and test until you get the shot that you need, which is fine. But if you want to work a bit smarter, a bit faster, here we go. It will take you twice as fast just to set the camera and the light exposure to what to what you need if you use a light meter. This is one of the the old models. They've got a um, a new one, a, Pol a, Pol a Polaris, a Polaris. Um, you've got a Sakona as well if you check out the Sakona brands as well. They've got like a, a digital one that's full on, di like it's all like high tech, like Iron Man light, but they got that as well. But yeah, so this is what I use to measure my light and get great exposure for my photos. But yeah, anyway, I'm Ryan. Peace.